Hello my friend, it is I, Vadim. How are you doing? Today I am going to be unboxing ASRock H570 Steel Legend motherboard. We will have a look at what kind of features it offers on the outside. I will of course do a full review on my main channel. Link will be in the description below. If you are interested in tests, PC builds and other stuff featuring this motherboard. But for now, let's have a look what is inside, what kind of accessories come with it and the board itself. We'll check it out. I must say that the box is quite heavy. It's unusual. Almost two kilograms. Okay, so we'll start from the top. We have a lot of different stickers, cable labels, if you're into that kind of thing. Software setup guide in English. Quick installation guide in a lot of different languages. course the CD with all the necessary software that is if anyone's using those anymore <laughs> a card so yeah there's that oh this is actually quite interesting it's a keychain Seems like it's a piece of a PCB. Yeah, it's a real PCB. Piece of the real PCB. Check it out. Steel Legend logo on one side. And ASRock. It's like a mini motherboard. This thing is actually quite cool. I'm going to use this. I don't have a keychain. <laughs> this, is, this is interesting. Awesome. We've got three M.2 little tiny screws. We'll need those because I'll show you uh, the motherboard later. You'll see why. We've got some Velcro straps for the cables. How many is there? There's two. Two cable Velcro straps. That will be useful for cable management. And we've got two SATA cables. This is the thing I'm always interested in because um, especially with these budget motherboards is the shield, it's the IO shield. Let's have a look if it's any good. Because some, sometimes manufacturers go very cheap on these things, but this actually looks quite nice. Uh, I'm not talking about the color scheme here. I'm, talk about, I'm talking about the fact that it's padded and it doesn't have all those little tiny bits sticking out. Like this one here, the cheap ones have them all over and they're so annoying. I can't stand them. 
but this is quite nice. So I'm happy with this shield. This is the motherboard itself. Oh, hold on, we have some more things. One more M.2 screw for the SSD and a standoff screw for the SSD as well, I believe. Yeah, that's it. That's everything. In terms of accessories, I'm going to move this box off of the table now and we'll move on to actually having a look at this motherboard right here. It is extremely well packaged. Have a look at this, all over. Foam packaging, it's great. out. The color is matte black. This is actually very nice. Okay. I like the color at the front as well. One thing that stands out to me right away is the VRMs and the heat sinks on them. Uh, the, the website says that this motherboard has eight power phases and yeah, there's a lot of chokes. And the VRMs have pretty beefy heat sinks on them. Check it out, both rows. So this is the top row, heatsink, and the side row. It is hollow, but still, even the motherboard itself, it's heavy. Check out the heatsink on the, on the chipset. It's kind of massive, which is good, actually. Right. Let me start telling you about what kind of features this motherboard packs. Uh, what I see over here is a lot of pins for the CPU power delivery. So I'm expecting good things from it. In terms of fans, it has one fan connector for the CPU. There's also a secondary CPU fan connector. Couple of uh, RGB connectors here. One, two, three, four system fan connectors. I like to see that. So that means that you can have a lot of fans connected to the motherboard itself without having a hub 
or any kind of adapters sticking out. So you can connect three fans, intake from the front, one fan, uh, you know, exhaust at the back, for example. I like having a lot of fan connectors on one motherboard. In terms of SSDs, this thing has a lot. Under, under this heatsink, there is a M.2 SSD uh, that is PCIe Gen 4. This is the only Gen 4 SSD that you are going to get. It has two more M.2 slots here and here, but these are Gen 3, which is actually okay because, uh, to be honest with you, I don't see the point in having a Gen 4 SSD on a gaming system because it can't take advantage of that just yet. Not any time in the near future anyway. We've got six SATA connections. There is a thing here uh, for the front panel if you are uh, going to use, I believe this is, yes, definitely, I remember uh, reading about this. This is Gen USB 3.2 Gen 2X2. <laughs> yeah, USB naming is terrible. This M.2 Wi-Fi slot. So you can add a M.2 Wi-Fi card here, the small one. I think it costs something like 20 to $25 or so. We have two more RGB connectors down there. And of course, PCIe Gen 4 main slot, which is reinforced. Let me show you. Connectivity is quite good. You have DisplayPort, HDMI, one, two, three, four, five USB and one USB type C, 2.5 gigabit LAN, and uh, your regular, you know, audio, audio jacks, microphone jack, and the old style connector for the keyboard and mouse. There are four memory slots. This is going to be up to 4800 megahertz memory. And also I just noticed that it says WP over here near this fan connector. So that's water pump connector. If you want uh, to do the custom loop, this motherboard is actually okay with that because you can connect water pump over here. Awesome. And for that memory, actually, we are going to put that to the test. Unfortunately, I don't have any 4800 megahertz memory, but I do have a kit of 4000 megahertz memory, team group. So I am going to test it with this motherboard on my main channel in, in the review that is coming soon. I will start working on it as soon as I finish uploading this video. I'm excited to test this board with my Intel i5 CPU. Like the video if you enjoyed it or if it was helpful. Don't forget to follow my other channel, link in the description below. That's where all the tests, PC builds and the review will be posted. But until next time, it was I, Vadim. Thank you for watching.